From cracking your own skull open to making a line judge bleed, these are times tennis players went too far. And first up is the female GOAT of tennis, Serena Williams. She went ballistic, breaking her own racket when she faced fellow American, 19-year-old Sloane Stevens. She got pissed after she failed to put the teenager away. If you didn't know how powerful those arms were, you know now. Serena might have smashed one racket, but this next guy took it a step further. During the Davis Cup in 2017, Denis Shapovalov whacked a tennis ball at the umpire because he trailed his opponent, Kyle Edmund, during the third set of the deciding point. Well, at least Dennis was remorseful and only got a fine of $7,000. This next tennis player decided to teach the umpires how to do their job. At 30 all, Ramos Vinola serves and the linesman calls it out. But hold on, the umpire decides to give him an ace instead. Can you imagine the frustration on Troisky's face? He was absolutely livid, and in a fit of rage, he snatched the ball from the ball boy and stormed up to the referee and said this. Oh, man, look at it! What? Look at it! Oh, and he didn't stop there. He went on to say this. Worst in the world! You're horrible! If you thought Troisky was out of line with his rant, wait till you see what Karolina Pliskova did. At the Rome Open in 2018, Pliskova was angered at a line call made by the chair umpire. She felt it was a bad call and quarreled with the referee about it. And after the game, she took out her frustrations on the umpire's chair, smashing a hole through it with her racket. You know, she probably wished it was the umpire's head, but you bet the referee got the message loud and clear. But if you can't strike an umpire with your racket, you can just kick a line judge, right? Well, let's ask David Nalbandian. Talk about being your own worst enemy. He was actually leading in the Aegon Championship final, but because he failed to catch a shot, he went nuts. He angrily kicked an advertisement board, which ended up hitting and injuring a line judge. The match was then forfeited, and his opponent, Marin Cilic, won by default. David ended up the center of a police investigation and was fined over 12k. But this next player didn't even need to draw blood before getting his $12,000 fine. In 2022, Daniel Medvedev launched an angry tirade at a chair umpire during a change of ends in the second set. He had this to say. He demanded that Tsitsipas' father be hit with a coaching violation, which he was, but the damage had already been done. But this is nothing compared to two players turning tennis into MMA. Two players, Adrian Andreev and Koratan Mute, exchanged handshakes and then they thought, how about we take it a step further, huh? They had to be separated by a chair umpire while the crowd cheered and clapped. They came for a tennis match, but were getting a bonus for their ticket. And here are some more fans getting more than their money's worth. When did it become a good idea to choke your opponent? Well, for Stefan Kubek, who grabbed fellow Austrian Daniel Kohler by the throat, there's nothing wrong with it. Except, of course, there was plenty. Such as him getting disqualified and losing the match automatically. Anyway, this next player probably would have received a good old butt smacking from his dad if it weren't for the cameras. Stefano Tsitsipas scared the hell out of his dad when he swung his racket violently and accidentally hit him. The action forced his dad to sit in the stands before the news the following day would read, Father kills son, or vice versa. Anyway, after the match, Tsitsipas said, Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll stay in my room for three days. <laughs> Ground, grounded by my father. <laughs> Nobody truly knows if he was grounded after, but someone definitely needs to ground Serena after what she did next. Serena Williams went full Karen mode in this one, ordering to see the referee, calling the umpire a thief and a liar, demanding to be apologized to, and the whole shebang. All these were coming after the umpire warned her of cheating by receiving signals from her coach. Serena was fined $17,000, and her coach later admitted that he did send her coaching signals. But when Xavier Melise felt he had been cheated on by the officials, he did more than just insult them. 
In 2005, Ponytail Guy took things too far when he lost his temper during a match against David Ferrer at the NASDAQ 100 tournament. He was disqualified for his actions and was given a four-week ban alongside a fine of $6,000. Now, it's one thing to smash a racket, but how about three rackets in a row? Doubt me? Just wait for this next guy. Alexander Bublik threw one of the craziest temper tantrums we've ever seen. Even three-year-olds don't get this mad. I'm sure if a rackets community existed, they would wage war against Alex, because what the heck was that? Nevertheless, it's not so bad when players lose their cool, but just imagine if their wives joined them in their anger. And that's exactly what happened in 1995 with American tennis player Jeff Tarango. Jeff had reacted angrily towards the umpire, who gave him a warning for saying shut up to the fans. You are the most corrupt official in the game and you can't do that! When the supervisor couldn't help him, he accused the umpire of being corrupt, which led him to receiving a code violation. Tarango lost it after this and stormed off the court. But that's not all. His wife decided to wait for the umpire outside the changing room area and slapped him. Yeah, you read that correctly. Anyway, not all players wait for their wives to fight their battles for them. At least not legends like Roger Federer. Federer couldn't contain his anger like he usually did when he played Novak Djokovic at the 2009 Miami Open. During the match, Federer became angry at his errors after he hit the net. And who was to blame for this? Not the umpire, not Djokovic, but the good old culprit, Racket Man. Take that, Racket! But we've seen rackets get smashed against the floor too many times. Maybe this is why Eugenie decided to take it a step further. In an event never before seen in the tennis world, the Russian tennis player Mikhail Yuzhny did something completely unbelievable. Just because he lost a point due to an unforced error, this dude thought it'd be best to KO himself. Although he won after he was given treatment, you can't help but wonder what would happen if he didn't win. And here we go again with some racket-on-racket racket violence. As if he was already planning to take it out on the rackets, Grigor Dimitrov lined up his rackets and used the one in his hand to give the others some thrashing. After which, he shook the hand of the umpire, got penalized, and left the match. And that was it! But this list wouldn't be complete without tennis bad boy Nick Kyrgios, and here's him with the biggest fine in this video. This drama king was so pissed, he took a bathroom break without permission where he angrily destroyed two rackets. This was following a heated exchange he had with umpire Fergus Murphy when he felt the service clock started too early, which forced him to rush his first serves. He then threw the F-bombs at Murphy along with other insults. Of course, he was fined $113,000 for his behavior, but when Djokovic felt cheated on this next play, he did his best not to smash a few rackets himself. But he did let the umpire have a piece of his mind. During the Shanghai Masters in 2015, Novak Djokovic became angry while playing against Joe Wilfred Songa. This happened because the umpire made an overrule on a shot that he thought he could have returned. C'est bien ça. Ah, quel dommage, c'était bien parti. Pour... Novak, he called it really. Both times he called it late. Anyway, coming in at spot number two, we have Serena Williams again. At the US Open semifinals against Kim Kleisters in 2009, Serena Williams was so pissed, she threatened to force feed a lineswoman a tennis ball because she called a foot fault against her. She did this all while pointing her racket aggressively at her. She was later fined $85,000 and put on a two-year probation for her troubles. She was disqualified as a result, and Kleisters won the match by default. Then, many years later, Daniel Medvedev decided to do this to fans. You see, during the Moselle Open, Daniel Medvedev took his frustrations out on his racket by smashing it on the ground. Yeah, yeah, we've seen this one too much already. But it was what he did next that made the headlines. Because the crowd booed him for his reaction, he decided to mock them with monkey gestures and some boos of his own. And with Danny, we call it a day on this one. Let us know in the comments which tennis player shocked you the most. Thanks for watching.